Hey guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Leanna Wilson. Leanna was one of the first ones to send me this story and it's going viral all over social media. It has to do with the Superior Court judge. Her name is Verda Calvin. So basically what's going on is that there's an eight minute video and she's talking to these kids who are in her courtroom. They're there for various offenses, you know, truancy, shoplifting, just all types of stuff, you know, being bad kids. And she's basically there trying to set these kids straight. She talks to these kids, both the girls and the boys for eight minutes straight and when I tell you her words like really hit home it really made me feel good watching this judge talk to these kids because so many of these kids are used to ratchetness being praised they're used to bad they're used to bad behavior being praised but they don't understand for all that bad behavior that's being praised on social media there are consequences to those actions so whenever I see something positive like this I love to talk about it on my channel because sometimes we don't see as many positive stories going viral so everything that she said to those children was just really really amazing if you guys have not seen the full eight minute clip it's on my website you guys can check it out in the meantime the news is now talking to the judge and i want you guys to hear what she had to say about the entire situation check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. all right stand inside this courtroom and you're sure to hear some words of wisdom from judge verda colvin there's nothing you can't do but last week's speech did more than encourage a couple dozen of troubled teens in her courtroom it touched millions care about your future be somebody, anybody can be nothing. It doesn't take anything to be nothing. Be something. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am shocked that it has gone that far. Because it's a talk she's used to giving. But when the Bib Sheriff's Office posted her harsh reality conversation, her speech spread through the web, reaching more than 3 million viewers. The Superior Court judge got in faces, reminding kids to consider the consequences of their actions. The joy I get from doing this job is not having judge attached to my name, just the fact that I can speak to so many people and encourage them and to remind them that there are consequences to your actions. But if you're ready to go a different route, I'm willing to help you get there. Calvin took the seat here at the courthouse just two years ago. And though she's a newly appointed judge, she says life and her past employer seasoned her for this moment. I was with the U.S. Attorney's Office for 14 or 15 years. This was who I was even there. And even with the federal defendants that I came in contact with them, believe it or not, I spoke words of positiveness to them. She's hoping her words not only impacts teens, but moves adults to encourage young people people everywhere. I just want our children to know people care about them and we see the possibilities in their future. And I never know these kids personally, but they're my heart. All right, so you guys just saw what she had to say about the entire situation. And like I said, I have to give this woman not only kudos, but praises because you have so many people who have literally washed their hands of this generation. They're tired of the foolishness. And I'm glad that she's stepping up and she's talking to these kids instead of just treating them like criminals and throwing the book at them. She's actually trying to give them advice. And I think the part that really resonated with me personally is when she said that anybody can be nothing. It takes nothing at all to not be about something. And what she said is so true. Anybody can be a troll. Anybody can twerk their ass. Anybody can just sit around and be negative. That doesn't take any work. It takes a lot of work to be positive, to have goals, to want to achieve your goals, to try and make a difference in this world. That takes a lot of work. That takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of effort. We need to start praising that again. And I feel like that's where we've fallen off as a society. It's like everything that's bad is good and everything that's good is bad. Everything is so backwards nowadays and it's really affecting this generation of kids who are so stuck on social media whose life evolves around social media they're being bombarded with so many mixed signals it's crazy and I talk about this all the time on both of my channels a lot of these kids are being bombarded with just a lot of bullshit and they don't know where to turn they don't know what to believe and I think for this judge to sit out there put her neck on the line and basically tell these young kids the real deal I think that's to be respected because so many young kids out here think they can do anything for world star hip-hop validation for Facebook thumbs ups, for Instagram hearts and everything else, for Twitter retweets, but they're not realizing for that little 15 minutes worth of fame, there are consequences behind that. Oh, oh. oh my God. 17 year old who we are not identifying is accused of helping to run a $3 million hydroponic marijuana ring. 
Investigators say he had at least six other former or current Mason students working for him. We believe that they were pushing somewhere around $20,000 per month. You know, regardless if that's you posting naked pictures of yourself and people are not clowning you and cyber stalking you or you posting up a fight video and now you're being charged with assault and you're getting a juvenile record. You know, there's consequences for everything that we do in life, good or bad. And I'm glad that this judge kept it real with these kids. And I hope that these kids really listen to everything that this woman is saying because she's saying this because she loves them and she wants to steer them on the right track. So kudos to her for stepping up and really talking to these kids instead of just yelling at them and talking down to them and acting like nobody cares about this generation. They just wash their hands of them like so many people have done. So I think this was a really positive story. That's why I wanted to share this on my channel. And I hope that all the young people who do come on my channel, who do watch my videos, can take something positive from not only what I do on here, but from what this judge is saying, you know what I'm saying, and realize that in the real world, there are consequences for our actions and we just want the best for this generation. We just want the best for these kids. And I'm glad that this judge was able to articulate and say everything that so many of us have been saying here on social media. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire viral story concerning Judge Verda Calvin. What did you guys think about her speech and what she had to say to these juveniles? And then what do you guys think about her video going viral? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.